imagination. Who wants to get lit? Hope you didn't mind the lit joke too much, but it is what it is. We are going to be getting the ball rolling on addressable LED strips. Um, a quick heads up, I have never wired these before. Uh, I'm a bit of a novice. I've been reading as much as I can in the pinball guide, and I've also been uh, sort of seeking counsel from an electrical engineering mate of mine. So uh, just keep that in mind. You know, I don't want to put you wrong. I'm actually using three different types of LED strips. I'll go through them real quick. Um, this is the bottom one. You can see the LEDs are quite spaced, quite far apart. Uh, they're called addressable because each one sort of has a number and they kind of talk to each other. So when uh, you know they talk to each other, this, this guy or he will say, well, I'm number one. And this one will say, well, if you're number one, then I'll be number two. And this one says, well, if you're number two, then I'm number three. And that's the way they talk to them. So when the signal comes in, it might say, hey, three and five get lit and they'll pass the information on and, and then I'll say, okay, what color do you want? And then it'll be whatever color, you know, I program it to be at different times throughout the game. So that's the one strip that goes on the bottom of the cabinet. There'll be one on either side. Then there'll be another set of strips, again, one on either side on the playing field along the side of the cabinet. And they'll be time to go sort of when the ball is being shot up or if there's different things happening around the side of the, the cabinet. You can see the LED strips, the LEDs are actually a lot closer together. So there's 144 LEDs per meter. These are both one, one meter strips. This one is 60 LEDs per meter. And then the last one is a matrix panel, which is going to go on the back, sort of at, a, at an angle. And it'll be designed with sort of whimsical designs and interactive patterns and things like that. So we've got uh, an 8x8. So if you any good at math you'd know that's 64 this one here is 8 by 32 there's 256 LEDs so when you put all these three together you're actually going to have 384 LEDs I actually wrote all that information down so don't be that impressed so in terms of wiring this is where you know it's a learning experience for me there's three cables this is the each end there's a red has to receive five volts there's a white, which is your ground or your common, and the green one, which is the data, which sort of sends the signals through here of what LEDs should be lit and what color they should be. Both ends have to receive power. Both whites have to be joined to the ground. And the only one, which is at the start, there's usually an arrow, which tells you the start of the, the strip, goes back to the controller. Uh, and I'll show you the controller in a sec. Uh, LEDs are very power hungry. They're kind of greedy. I actually had to buy a new five volt power supply. I have a little one in my cabinet. I have to take it out because it didn't have enough juice. It's five volts. It's going to carry 60 amps or max out 60 amps. So it's going to be able to provide enough juice for these to be lit um, based on, you know, whatever designs and patterns and things are happening in the game. So just have a quick look at the controller. So this is the board. I know you've seen this quite a few times. Uh, it is called a PAL board. Uh, the acronym is PAL stands for Pinball Addressable LED Board. So this is a board that connects to a computer. Uh, it has a Tensi chip thing on the top, which uh, sort of does the controlling, I think. I mean, I'm again, I'm a novice, so just take, take my words with a grain of salt. You've got five volts coming in and then a ground. Uh, as I mentioned, this is my current five volt little baby things, not big enough. So I needed to buy a big one and I'm going to put that in in a couple of minutes. And then for this here, we've got the inputs from the data cables. Uh, so each strip has a cable that's going to come back. So there's going to be two from the bottom, the left and the right, two from the sides, left and the right, and then one from the matrix. So there's actually going to be five cables coming into here. And uh, the, the strips themselves will be powered separately, differently underneath. I've got to figure that out. Uh, and that'll be my next step. So I'm going to swap out the power supply and then I'm going to sort of draw up some sketches of where and how I'm going to wire this thing. Power supply, the 5 volt power supply. thing is different, this one, sort of the voltage is on this side, which is a little bit different from this one. So I've got to be mindful of that. So same cable, I've got the three wires here. Uh, I've got the live 
the neutral and the gr and the ground, which is the earth. Um, black goes to L, which is sort of I guess load, and the white goes to the neutral, and then the green goes to ground. And then I've got looks like I've got three outputs: common, negative, and then three volts for plus five. So let's wire that up. So that's all wired up, but uh, just as a matter of, you know, good practice, you really want to make sure that these are held in because if they do come loose, that's when the issues, you know, electric shocks and fires and death can occur. So you really have to make sure that they're held in really, really well and connected to the right ones. So my black goes to my load, white is my neutral, green is my earth. Uh, about the green, I'm actually going to actually have to undo that. In the cabinet, it's where I attach, or I'm going to attach the earth strap that I wrapped around the, the cabinet. So that'll come up, there'll be another pin that goes in there and that attaches to the strap which goes around my cabinet, which video earlier earlier on. So those are all tight, I'm happy with that. So uh, the pain, the challenge with this one is this doesn't have any things. Like the old one, you know, it had a place to put a screw. This one doesn't have it. So I have to figure out some sort of bracket Hold, I've got sort of things here, so I'm trying to see if I can find something in an old computer to hold that down so I can screw it in. And I'm going to drop it in, and then I'll just wrap up this video, and then we can at least just sort of get the ball rolling for putting in the LED strips. So I'm calling this a bit of a Christmas miracle because honestly, shit like this takes me way too long to find stuff. But I actually found these brackets pretty quickly, which it's not like me, but I'll take it. So, uh, and they, it fits perfectly. So I'm just gonna build like a, you know, so this will screw into the bottom of the cabinet and then this will just sit in and then got a screw. I found screws that fit. They weren't normal screws, they were different screws. And so it'll hold it in there. So I'm cool, I'm happy, let's drop it in. Okay, so that's in. That took a lot longer. I know you watched it on Hyperlapse, but God, it took too long. And I keep thinking, this is why it's taking me nine months to do this because it shouldn't take 20 minutes to install the freaking power supply. I have to take the brackets out, re-drill them because they weren't aligned. And But it's in. So anyway, I should be playing the Benny Hill music because it was a comedy of errors. So uh, as I said, I'm going to wrap up this video, but I want to just show you that I'm putting in a ground strap. In one of my earlier videos, I wrapped a metal or a steel braid from all the corner brackets. It touches the, the lock bar and the coin door. And then, so this is the end of it. It's just screwed around here with a screw terminal. And then this just attaches to the green earth or the green ground. When I say or and, it's the same thing. So uh, by effectively putting your hand on any metal, you actually earthed. So uh, if there's ever a sort of a short circuit somewhere, uh, it'll escape. Rather than going through you, it'll go through the ground braid strap. So I'm going to attach this to the green, and then I, uh, I'm not going to connect up any of the power, because um, I've still got to figure out how I'm going to, I might end up drilling down here to go under the cabinet to do the LED strips underneath. So I've got some thinking to do, but I'm just going to end by just putting this braid strap Oh my god, this is <laughs> on the green earth, and then uh, I'm gonna walk away. I need to do something else. All right, later.